Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but I thought it was worth taking a look at. Recently, Microsoft introduced Clarity Boost to their Xbox game streaming platform, but there is one caveat. It only works with the Edge browser, and in this case, as making the video, you will have to use the latest Canary build of the Edge browser, which is basically an alpha or a beta. And uh, you can download it. I'll leave a link for it in the description. It's official Microsoft, but I do think that this is worth trying out. It definitely makes a difference. And as the name implies, this boosts the clarity of your streaming games. So uh, this is only going to work with games you're streaming from the cloud. It's not going to work with games that you're streaming from another Xbox in your house. I'm a huge fan of Xbox game streaming. Really glad to see these new features added. Now the next thing we're going to need is a little bit of a, kind of a latency booster. Well, we don't want more latency, we want less latency. But you know, this is a good start, getting a little cleaner image. Uh, even though we're running at 1080p and Windows through Edge, it still can look a little blurry. And Clarity Boost really does help this out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Once you're signed in to the Edge Canary browser, all you need to do is head over to xbox.com forward slash play and it'll bring you to the cloud gaming section. We're going to start out here with Forza Horizon 5 and I'll give you a look at this new feature. In just a second, I will plug this into my game capture device so we can get a better look at everything, but I did want to show you it right here. In order to enable Clarity Boost, all you need to do is use the pop-up menu and choose Enable Clarity Boost. And basically, it just looks like they're adding a sharpening filter but it really does make a difference. You can really see the detail in that steering wheel and the carbon fiber dash here. Let me get in a bit closer. So it's off right now. I'm gonna turn it on. You can see it just popped there. We'll turn it back off and I'll turn it back on. So yeah, cleaning up everything. Let's move over to my game capture real quick. Okay, so now I'm plugged into my game capture and I have Clarity Boost off. Um, if you take a look at the background, even the edges here, the trees, we're going to turn it on. So if we enable it, you can see that it just kind of makes everything pop. It's basically just kind of a sharpener. So it's on, now it's off. And it does make a huge difference. On, off. You can just check out the background here. On, off. All right, so I just ended up in a different spot real quick. We've got these flags up here, which should have a little more detail once we turn it on. Got a Christmas tree, uh, even this character over here sitting on the porch. We'll turn it on. And off. On. So yeah, it does up the clarity, makes everything pop, but it really just looks kind of like a sharpening filter. All right, I've got one more here, and this is Halo Infinite. It's off right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And yeah, even that heads-up display on the gun itself looks a lot cleaner. And this doesn't take any kind of hit on performance, so, you know, if you're using a smaller, lower-end PC like I am right now, you don't have to worry about it having enough power or not. I mean, as long as you're streaming the game without Clarity Boost on, once you turn it on, you're not going to notice a difference in performance. So take a look at that heads-up display real quick. We'll turn it off. Yeah. A little blurry. Back on. Looks so much better. So this is definitely worth trying out. Hopefully they do bring this over to Android along with 1080p streaming. That would just make it so much better to be running on a phone or even an Android TV like the NVIDIA Shield TV. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I thought it was interesting enough to make a quick video on. And if you're interested in checking this out, I will leave a link to the Edge Canary build in the description. I think the next thing they need to work on is the latency, but if there's something else you've thought of and you want to see it in Xbox game streaming, let me know what it is in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.